back again. Today is gonna be a fun day, it's Saturday. Here in San Diego, we have a fix-it clinic. It's a little bit different. It's not that I take things in and just, oh, fix it for me. No, 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 no. You take it in and actually you fix it together and you actually learn how to fix these things. And I love this because you learn skills that a lot of people forgotten. So today, actually, we have a wheelbarrow that the kids have been having since oh since no one was a baby but i love it they still use it but the wheel came off so we're gonna get that fixed second thing is that james has some pants that has a pocket that ripped later on we're gonna make dandan dan noodles which is my favorite dish and so you can follow along okay what do you bring james you well, gonna fix i have it? this um pocket on your jeans uh, on this jeans that is ripped in kind of a a, hot a challenging way and i wanted to get some help on how to fix this perfect all right, two things to go fix. Come on, guys. I'm going to do a little bit of food prep. We're actually going to make dum dum noodles, which is my favorite dish. Cut green beans and zucchini. I made this sauce. And then we're gonna have actually a Texas vegetable protein and some noodles. What is that? Chickpea flour spaghetti. And I could use those as noodles. So then it's like it's protein. And I might add some chumpu to that too. video was helpful wasn't it just great to see how the kids actually were the ones who fixed things and I'd like Noah so got so much joy and he was a little bit resistant going to begin with but he got so much joy out of all these amazing people coming to teach him and he got to saw and drill and actually learn to fix this and the pride he felt and Liam I think he could I could have left him there if you're interested in the fix-it clinic here in San Diego I will put a link to it here in the, the description box they are fantastic I highly recommend that if you live in San Diego to go check them out and bring in something I actually we saw someone who brought in a big giant TV and it was just a $15 part that they needed to replace to get this TV to work. And someone brought in some garden tools to get them fixed. I think I saw a laundry machine as well. So, you know, nothing is too small or too big. 